Hello guys, so uh, I was playing with the new version of Wonder Man from Bender, uh, version 25, uh, and uh, even if I don't really know it, I wanted to show you uh, the basics, because I think uh, this version is in fact uh, pretty good. Uh, the previous version I tested was only CPU, so it was pretty slow, and the new one is uh, GPU, so this is pretty nice. So let's uh, show you it uh, on this scene here. Uh, let's add a plane. Let's scale it like that. I will just hide the hidden wire. Okay. Uh, let's add a camera. Shift A. Camera. Control Alt 0. Uh, I will go in the view and do this. So if I come back and press 0, I will be able, as you can see, to do this. So let's uh, make, uh, let's see this pose. Let's place here an empty. I can name it uh, camdof, camdof like that. Okay, basic. And inside my camera, uh, I will do it later. So now I will use random man. So RMB use random man, and I will have uh, some new menus here, as you can see, some presets, etc., etc. So with Shift A, I can add a light. Uh, let's see. I will use a dumb light, and uh, with the preset, let's use uh, LuxoGR like that. So if I exit, uh, I will have this one. So if I can scale it, this is not really an issue. Hop, like that. So let's uh, do this directly. Uh, let's add the shader editor. So this is my dome light. Uh, I will add some materials on the, the object. So Shift A. Uh, no, it was in fact RMB, my bad. Random man, add new material and use the uh, Disney. You have all those ones, but I really don't know them. PX, PX, PXR surface should be nice uh, and the Lama uh, too. But for this video, I will use the basic one. Okay. Do the same here. Add new material. Disney. Here. New material. Disney. Okay, basic. Uh, now, if I go inside my camera, if I click here and hyper the viewport, I will have this kind of render. So this is the uh, CPU version. So as you can see, first, uh, it's not so uh, slow. So this is nice. I will. If you go here, you will click on render and you will choose XPU. I will click on persistent data like that. And now if I activate again my hyper, you will see it will be way faster like that. Let's make a rotation of my dome. Let's hop. RZ. I want something, let's see, like that. As you can see, this is pretty fast now. This is as fast as cycle. So this is nice. Um, I can select this object. I will, uh, you can press Shift A, Random Man, uh, Pattern, texture, uh, PXR texture, like that, or you can come here and you will have uh, this little icon and you will be able to do the same. So let's connect it to the base color, Hop. like that. So now this is red. Let's go and select my texture. So this was this here, this one, easy peasy. Uh, I will press Shift A, Render Man, uh, bump, let's use a normal map, like that, let's go and select my normal map, so this is this one, okay, just connect it to this, you will have this result, so I can exit the camera, it will work, so this is nice, Hop. and my, hopla, I need to zoom, I need to flip uh, the X, and it will be better, okay. So as you can see, I will have this, and this is fast. On this one, up, I can play with the transmission. So um, diffuse transmission to one, specular transmission to one, as you can see. I can add a color. Let's see, I will copy this one. Control C, uh, Control V here. I can play with the ruggedness, like that. Uh, I will stop and I can add a subdivision surface. So click here, you will have subdivision mesh, choose column clock, same here. 
and that it uh, I can smooth the normal maybe too like that so now if I come back up uh, repair to viewport as you can see now this is much better so previously I added a cam off so I will select my camera uh, I will activate the depot field I will select my cam off object and uh, I will play with the f-stop so let's uh, enter 0 0.2 uh, 0 0.02 to check yes this is much better so on this one you have the uh, transmittance distance but I don't think it will uh, ah yes it should uh, give me some better results up and if I do this uh, up, uh, zero up Okay, I have something I, I like. Okay, so this is nice, this is easy. What we can do is to, uh, let's uh, come, ta -ta, let's use mode caps. Let's oopla, come back, exit. I will select this one. I will uh, select this, Hop, press E to extrude. Uh, I will add a bevel, let's see, 45. Let's add some, up. 50, 55, yes, okay. So let's go inside the camera, RZ, like that. So let's add a shade smooth. Let's go back to the hyper viewport. So this is easy, this is nice, this is fast. And uh, one thing you have to take into account, don't move the, when you have an hyper, don't move the view because it will um, not be a good idea. <laughs> So let's try to edit this one a little. Up, same here. Yes, this is better. So I have my render here. What I can do is to add another to the view. Let's press N and T. Let's add Shift A, a light, a rectangular light. Let's move it. Let's scale it. Let's make a rotation like that RZ up ok so let's increase the uh, intensity let's see 10 ok so this is nice let's move it let's make a rotation I can press ctrl B here up. ok it works so this is nice. So uh, I can duplicate this one. Let's try like that. So as you can see, this is almost uh, like a cycle. This is uh, pretty easy to use. Up. Okay, and this one decrease to five. Uh, to three. Okay, nice. I can play with the dome. Let's make a rotation. To see if I can have something better. I like to have this, so this is nice. On the view, maybe I can up, uh, rotate it a little bit. Okay. I can take this one and just move it, let's see here, inside to have the eyes, so this is nice. Um, the dome light, can I increase the power a little bit? You can activate up uh, the color management. So let's see. I like medium high contract. contrast. Okay. Do we have? Yes, as you can see, you can see the difference. Hop. I like this one, so this is nice. Okay, so uh, ta -ta 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 -ta, we can say this one is interesting. Uh, maybe let's make it uh, up like that. Okay, this is nice. So let's uh, stop this one. In the renders, uh, yep, up, up. You will be able to uh, use Blender for the render or IT. Uh, Blender will use the uh, render view here, and IT will use uh, the uh, render view from RenderMan. So I will use uh, IT. It 
like that. I will activate the um, ta -ta 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 -ta, where are the passes and uh, the the noising. So I will switch to random mind display. Here I will select my beauty and I will activate the noise. I will select my camera and that it. It's okay. After under render uh, sampling, you will have the uh, sampling for the render. So uh, let's use 100. Should be enough. Okay. Um, you will have if you use, for example, a Blender, you will be able to use optic denoiser. So it's nice too. And if you use it, it will use uh, this one, the denoiser here. So let's make a render. So a render image. You will see this is uh, pretty fast. So that will launch it here. So you will have this, you will be able in the view to choose, uh, for example, uh, ta -ta -ta -ta, here, medium high contrast. And uh, let's uh, use sRGB here. So I think it will be uh, the same result as we have pre we had previously. Uh, device uh, ta -ta -ta -ta, automatic yes it should be okay you can test uh, some other ones Hop. Uh, linear so we use uh, ta -ta, srgb in fact that will give me this so now this is uh, our render uh, it's uh, finished uh, we have uh, 38 uh, second here. If you press N, up normally I should have my denoising as you can see. With N, uh, I have the uh, random man denoiser here. So uh, this is nice. This is fast. Uh, I'm not sure the result will be exactly the same as Blender. So let's just check. Uh, let's move this one up. Uh, I will use Blender to check this time. Let's make a render. Uh, and this time let's use optics up like that we will be able to compare uh, both renders so as you can see we have a little difference uh, this one is a little bit brighter so i don't know why uh, i'm not an expert right now on this version of uh, renderman uh, i will make some tests but uh, as you can see uh, the render is nice you can see the difference in uh, the uh, the noiser here so this is the denoiser from uh, the, uh, pixar you can disable it if you want and this is the denoiser from uh, optics so the results are pretty nice so you can use whatever you want so like i said uh, i really don't know how to use it correctly i just uh, i'm just testing it and i will make some uh, other render but uh, what i can say uh, is that uh, this is much better than the previous version uh, as you can see the render time is pretty slow uh, you will be able to use uh, some uh, shaders that will be pretty nice for example the llama if you can check the documentation to see how to use them you will have also the uh, pixel surface that should be better que than the disney etc etc uh, this version of blender right now have some dif if, uh, some issues that mean uh, if you launch an ipr and you move uh, your view like that it will freeze uh, blender so this is not uh, so good for now uh, everything should be there. Uh, you have the uh, free for non-commercial uh, use uh, of the add-on add add because this is now just an add-on. Uh, the other thing that is important is that it works only on Blender 3.0 and not on Blender 3.5. So this is uh, too bad for that. Uh, we like to use it with the new air system to check etc etc but uh, right now uh, this version is uh, honestly uh, pretty fast and pretty nice i really like it and uh, i will uh, work on it to make it better or to make uh, some render and to check if i can have better result uh, than uh, cycle but as you can see this is the viewport uh, this is fast this is as fast as cycle and uh, it should be better <laughs> because this is random man just like that so that's it uh, hope you like this video see you later for another video